Quadratic Quest. Dive into quadratic equations. Hello language learners and future GMAT test takers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of quadratic equations. This algebraic concept is not just pivotal for your GMAT preparation but is also a foundation of many advanced mathematical concepts. Stick with us as we break down its elements in simple English. A quadratic equation is a polynomial equation of degree 2. It can be represented in the standard form as x2 plus bx plus c equals 0 x squared plus bx plus c equals 0 x2 plus bx plus c equals 0. Where, triple a, bbb, and ccc are coefficients. xxx is an unknown variable. Triple a is not equal to 0. If triple a were 0, then it would not be quadratic. The solutions to this equation are called the roots or solutions. These might be real numbers or complex numbers. 1. Parabola. When graphed, a quadratic equation forms a curve called a parabola. Depending on the sign of triple A, it can open upwards or downwards. 2. Vertex. This is the highest or lowest point of the parabola. It can be used to determine the maximum or minimum value of the quadratic function. 3. Axis of symmetry. It's the vertical line that passes through the vertex and divides the parabola into two identical halves. There are multiple ways to solve a quadratic equation. 1. Factoring. This involves expressing the quadratic polynomial as a product of binomials. 2. Using the quadratic formula, x equals minus b plus or minus b2 minus 4ac2x equals frac b pm sqrt b squared minus 4ac 2a x equals 2a minus b plus or minus b2 minus 4ac. This formula gives the solutions directly and works for any quadratic equation. 3. Completing the square. This method involves creating a perfect square trinomial from the quadratic equation and then solving for x, x, x. Quadratic equations might seem abstract, but they're used in various real-world scenarios. Projectile motion. When you throw a ball, its height over time can be described using a quadratic equation. Business. They can be used in profit and cost analysis to find the maximum profit or minimum cost. Engineering. Quadratic equations can be used in various design and analysis tasks. Quadratic equations might seem challenging at first, but with a solid understanding and practice, they'll become second nature. Remember, the GMAT is not just about knowing the concept, but understanding its application. We hope this video has shed light on the topic, and we wish you the best in your GMAT preparation. Until next time, keep learning!